What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more MLB player props today on the channel. Yesterday, great day on the Patreon. Seven and two yesterday on the Patreon. If you guys are interested in joining, the link is in the description. You guys can get an MLB or NBA or MLB and NBA package on my Patreon. If you guys are interested, two and one in the video yesterday, so we're bouncing back. I got another three player props for you guys in today's video, but yeah, yesterday was great. So it was really good for a lot of people too on the uh, no run first innings. And uh, I actually, that was the only one that I missed yesterday uh, on the channel. Well, and that was one of the two I missed yesterday on the Patreon uh, was one of the no run first innings. But <laughs> the one game that went over was the Pirates game. And uh, that was the one I happened to take. So that kind of sucked. But uh, yeah, yesterday absolutely killed it. It was amazing and hoping to kind of bounce back again here today and uh, get some momentum going. But if anyone's new, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. But uh, yeah, Patreon link is in the description. Uh, if you're interested in prize picks, highly recommend joining. Use code DOMG. Message your first deposit 100% up to $100. Seriously recommend joining. It's available in most states. It's now available in Arizona. So I highly, highly, highly recommend joining. I use it personally all the time. I love it. You guys get 100% deposit match up to $100 using my code. And uh, yeah, I mean, it pretty much covers everything there. So prize picks link is in the description. Uh, Patreon link is in the description and a free discord link in the description is available as well If you guys are interested in talking about some M MLB player props NBA all the different stuff We got a pretty good community going over there on the discord. So uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and hop straight in this though and uh, talk about some MLB player props for today All right, so the first player prop here I'm going to talk about here is a strikeout prop and it's gonna be Frankie Montas over five and a half strikeouts here So he's a minus 140 to go ahead and hit this over. He's hitting 69 percent of his games this season, 76% hit rate at home here, and um, 9 out of 10 hit rate in those last 10 games. We'll all talk about this here, um, but he he did not play the Phillies last season. The Phillies ranked 21st in strikeout percentage, so it's going to be a tougher matchup, but the odds are pretty much plus to go under pretty much everywhere. So you get a lot of value here on prize picks if you go ahead and play the over on Frankie Montas. Not saying to do that. Always take everything at your own risk and always do your own research, but... Uh, let's take a look at this game here. So it's 305 tonight. Uh, I guess that's not really tonight. This afternoon, <laughs> I guess is what you'd say. Uh, but here's what the game's looking like here. So there's an over under of eight runs here. Uh, Philly is projected to win here, but uh, we'll take a look into this one. So obviously he's starting against Philly. This is their projected lineup here with Schwarber leaving off there. Um, but let's take a look more into this one here. So this is his recent game lock here. So like I said, he's hitting nine out of his last 10 games. I mean, look at all this. The so last game he went under, was this game right here against the Kansas City Royals. So every other game, though, he has gone over the 5.5 mark. I mean, the last time he went under besides that Royals game, I think, was right here against Boston. So he's been uh, really killing his prop before the end of last season. So uh, we can, And he also has not played the Phillies, unfortunately. So if you take a look, you typed in uh, versus Phillies, he would uh, not have any results because he has not played the Phillies as uh, far as I could tell, So according to Stat News. So... Yeah, uh, had not played the Phillies. Great hit rate before the season started. Minus odds to, uh, or plus odds everywhere to go under almost, it feels like. And uh, I think there's a lot of value here in Frankie Monson's over five and a half strikeouts here. Moving on here, this is a very, very sneaky one that I found. I'm not very familiar with hitter fantasy score as much, but I'm kind of trying my luck today. And I think I found a really, really good one here. I like Randy Rosarina over five and a half hitter fantasy score. I'm really bad with names, by the way. I'm really bad with names. We're calling him Randy. I like Randy over five and a half at your fantasy score today. So this is what I'm liking here. Um, also, oh, for the, uh, this is where Philly ranks, by the way, in just strikeouts and how they rank. Um, so Philly is, I believe, 16th here. Uh, so they're actually, I think it's 14th, maybe. 14th at uh, striking out the most. So yeah, there was pretty much a middle of the road matchup for the, um, for uh, Montas there, but Anyways, let's take a look here at the uh, Tampa Bay Rays game here. This game is at 310 uh, today uh, versus Baltimore here. So it's in the Dome Stadium here. It's in Tampa Bay. It is a 7.5 run over under here. So it is a very, very low over under, which is not exactly what we want to see. But uh, he's, a, he's uh, the four man today. So I like it, though, for sure here. Because if you take more of a look into this one, uh, he has hit this in 12 out of his 13 games versus the Orioles last season. 12 out of 13. He's gone over five and a half fantasy score. Again, we'll take a look at this in a second here. But uh, he's also hitting the, all four games that John Means started in. He's their starting pitcher today. He hit, he's hitting all four. And he hit the, his prop in three out of the four games 
while John Means was pitching. So he hit in three out of the four while he was pitching. His first, he had like three plate appearances, whatever. I'll talk about this again in a second. We'll pull this up and take a look at this together. But yeah, uh, he's also hitting eight out of his last 10 games here. So if you take a look at the game log here, he just needs to have six here or 5.6 he needs to have. And uh, he had nine, 36.4, 12.2. And the last game he went under here was against Miami and then also Toronto. So he went under against Miami and Toronto recently. But um, yeah, I mean, not a bad spot here. So he did go, both of those games were home games, which is kind of, I guess, scary. He plays a little bit better at away, it seems like, for the most part. But we'll take a look here uh, versus Orioles. You can take a look at just how much he has destroyed Baltimore in the past. I mean, look at these fantasy score numbers. 21.9, 22.23. That was the one game he went under. And then he hit in this game. And look at these. These are mostly double digits. Hit 6.2 there, 6 there. That was actually 2020 right there. So, I mean, even dating back to 2020, he only missed in 2 in 2020. I mean, he's just destroyed the Orioles in the past, man. So, we can also pull up John Means here uh, and take a look at it uh, that way. But take a look at the uh, home games here. Like, he went under in that home game right there. Um, and that was the one game he went under. So, yeah, he seems to play a lot better away but and they are playing home today so i guess keep that in mind but uh, i still think it should be a pretty good look the over the uh, over under the runs though are uh, is pretty low so uh, let's take a look at this here so you can't put in fantasy score game log versus a pitcher but you can put in the name and then versus um you put in versus john means and just kind of calculate it yourself because this is it's the same fantasy scoring as fandle by the way so uh, if you take a look at MLB here, and then this is the uh, fantasy scores here. This is the same exact thing as Fanduel, I believe. So, but uh, this is what you got here. So, this is how it is uh, calculated out. So, if you really just want to find the uh, how well he's done against like a pitcher, like John Means, you have to kind of do it yourself. Unfortunately, instead of just looking up on Stat Muse. So he did miss in this one, but he did end up finishing this game, um, and hit obviously right there. So that was one of the games where he did end up going over there. But even though he had, he was doing bad. I mean, he had one strikeout, no hits in the first three uh, plate appearances there against John Means. But in these three here in 2021, he, he hit in all of these uh, right off the bat. I mean, he homered on the first two matchups last season against John Means. Uh, he had a double there uh, with three hits and three plate appearances. I mean, he's, had, he's gotten the best of John Means for the most part uh, in the past here. So. I definitely like Randy on the over here for the uh, fantasy score right there, over five and a half. Uh, last one here, though, it's going to be a no-run first inning here. I know a lot of people love these. I really want them to put the Brewers and the Cubs game on here, but I have not seen it up. Um, it might have been up early and they took it down, but I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I, I'm really hoping it goes up, though. But uh, White Sox and the Tigers here. But, yeah, if that Brewers and Cubs game goes up, I definitely want that. But uh, White Sox and the Tigers, yeah, I think, is a very, very good look to go and hit the under on this one here. Usually early in the season, too, like the first game teams play, it's there's usually a better chance for it to go under in the first inning because, you know, the team's best pitchers are playing against each other, so that's usually means lesser score. So, uh, But anyways, White Sox and the Tigers here, they did not play yesterday. So it's the first game of their seasons. But uh, I definitely like this one a lot here. So if we take a look at this game here, the White Sox game. And this game, oh, is it, it is an early game. It's 1-10, uh, yeah. So it's 8 run over under here. 21% rain, which is good. Hopefully it's really windy, really rainy, crappy conditions, uh, at least for, you know, we don't want any offense here. But uh, let's take a look here at uh, how they've kind of matched up in the past. So this first no-run first inning has hit in 6 out of the last 10. So it's only gone over in 4 out of the last 10 games. It did go, it did go um, over in this one, though, so... I mean, this uh, most recent game between them, it was only 5-2, and there was two runs in the first inning right there. So, But if you take more of a look into this one here, uh, Rodriguez has not played against the White Sox, I don't believe, at least any any time recently. And uh, Luke is here. He is the Tigers. I'm trying to find the best way to wear this here. The Tigers have hit had a first-run inning in two out of the five matchups that they played last season. So if you take a look here, how I was able to go out and go about this was so we'll just go ahead and put, uh, oh man, I got to spell his name. I'm horrible with names, man. We'll see if they pull it up here versus Tigers. We'll see if it pulls up. It did pull up, thank God. <laughs> oh, actually, I spelled it right? That's kind of impressive. I'm kind of surprised I spelled that right. Anyways, 
Uh, so if you take a look here, you can take a look at all of his 2021 games versus Detroit. And how I was able to go ahead and find this here was by going ahead and just clicking on the game on StatMuse here. And you can see here that no, the Detroit Tigers did not hit or did not have a first run um, in the first inning. So, or a run in the first inning. I'm, geez. <laughs> uh, this one though, the uh, Tigers did have a first, um, first inning run. This one here, uh, this did not. So it is uh, one and two there. In this game, uh, the White Sox ended up having a first run there, but Detroit did not. So you can't really put that on uh, Lucas there. But then Miguel Cabrera hit a homer in that one right there. So that's kind of how I just kind of find it out, if that kind of makes sense. So trying to help you guys uh, with some research tools there. But I like StatMuse a lot to go ahead and research. Uh, there's other things out there like props.cash too. I use that a little bit too. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much going to do for today's video. So hopefully this kind of helps you guys out. But to kind of recap here, I like Frankie Montas over five and a half strikeouts. I like Randy Alrosarina over five and a half fantasy score and Detroit versus the White Sox to go ahead and go under uh, their no run first inning. So, or their first inning run. So that's uh, going to do it for today's video though, man. I appreciate you watching. Again, if anyone is new, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. Use code DOMG on prize picks to match your first deposit 100% up to $100. Helps me out, helps you guys out as well. So if you guys deposit 60 on prize picks using code DOMG, they'll give you guys another $60 in promo funds. So you guys get $120 total to go ahead and play with. So pretty sweet deal over there on prize picks. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.